never see any of this part. We just see them basking yeah. and enjoying that. I, oh, my elbow <laughs> to the steamboat area if you want to hike it bike it walk it run it whatever you want to do come on down you can enter at several different parking lots the parking lots are all free but there's a ton to do along the trail yeah and it's pretty flat i can say that most of us went without using power um on the ride stacy had no choice because she has no gears well i used i didn't use power most of the time every now and then we hit a hill i would put it on one or two yeah but it's that flat and post pizza and beer i did use two on a couple of the hills <laughs> steamboat springs is a beautiful ski town but did you also know there are a ton of things to do in the summer <laughs> like mountain biking there is a ton of mountain biking they've got a lot of trails they even have a couple pump tracks so that you can get out and you know practice riding and going over the whoop-de-doos and taking the switchbacks which we did on our e-bikes which is not recommended to do on an e-bike because yeah, it's not no, good no but it's so not good we rode our e-bikes on the, the yampa river core trail yes. yes and it is the only trail for e-bikes so if you have e-bikes that is a wonderful trail to take it's seven miles it is an out, out and, and back, back. Yep and it winds through town so you can also hop off grab a quick meal or a drink like we did and it is a great way to see the area before we share any more info about steamboat springs we have to remind you that today is the last day for our brand new today is someday shirts and our veteran fundraiser that's right today is someday <laughs> to get your t-shirts and we have well not just someday the only, the only day. day this is the last day but it's not just our new design with today is someday on it but it's also our three other shirt campaigns so you can go all the way back to the very beginning if you like that one refresh your wardrobe they make great stocking stuffers just saying and for the fundraiser we are actually donating a buck per shirt to our veteran charity homes for our troops and the great thing is anything put into the tip jar that you will see when you purchase your shirt will also go to the um, veteran charity homes for our troops and there's and a lot in the tip jar so we appreciate the support and not only that we have two corporates two, backers two. too so they are both going to match the amount of t-shirts that we sell so we have RV Life Pro. As you know, they have RV Trip Wizard, and we've been working with them for some time, and we love them. And the other is Keller Williams Alliance out of Northern Virginia. They are also matching. So thank you to both of those amazing companies for caring for our veterans just as much as we do. Where's the drop off? Is it gonna be over my head? <gasps> Look, I'm come here, come here. You'll burn your foot. Are you burning? Is it that hot? It's pretty hot right here. Oh, it's that bad. Oh, okay. Just when you're coming down the step. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that is hot right there. Is it hottest up there? Yeah. Yep. Just go right here. Well, right? I feel it on my little sunburned shoulders. Yeah. You'll what? get a hot spot and it's like Ooh. it doesn't help that it's almost over my head. Yeah. Just start walking her way. I feel it. It's really pretty oh, though. What what is that? <laughs> What's the matter, Phil? Did oh, big something rock. bite you? Big rock. <laughs> it was slimy though. <laughs> you know when something touches you underwater, all of a sudden you feel yeah. like you could walk on water? Yeah. Well, you mostly Oh, oh there it is. Wow. Because you're afraid Dang, of fish. that is hot. Is you it on the top or on below? Right here, right here. Our temp was, ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, like I'm eating spicy it's food. It's good for our body. 
I'm, yeah, it's like a sauna. Ooh, the rocks. You feel how warm the rocks are under your toes. It's definitely hotter than the hot tub. Yes. Oh, it's better. Once you pass through, it, it does cool off for a second. Except for, over here. For a second, like right here. Oh, I got to keep going. The over to here. <gasps> the rocks yes. under your toes are I went hot. over here. Look at her. I feel like um, I just got double dog dared. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, over it's here. hot right there. Yeah, yeah. Dear Phil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh it's burn, slimy. Oh, burn my nipples. Oh, my chest is burnt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Big Come rock. on. Big rock. Right there. It's, it's a, a rock slimy right there. rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it touches the heat on the girl. Whoa. You know, every time we see people in their footage of hot springs, uh -huh. um, we hot. never see any of this part. We just see them basking and enjoying <laughs> that. I, or, oh, my elbow oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm going forward. Look. It's really I got I, I got to cover up my, my sensitive yes. parts. I've already got yeah. honey roasted. Okay. Well, the problem is we were out in the sun yeah, yesterday in my tank yeah. top, and I did get a little sunburn. Yeah, my farmer's tan. Ooh, I was trying hot. to right eliminate my right farm, yeah. farmer's tan. Ooh, oh. Okay. Oh, this feels good now. Well, now it feels Man, that was hot. I feel like it's we're a bunch of wimps because everybody was super hot. Like a hot plate. Everybody else is just chilling, and we're all like, ooh, ah, ooh. When nobody else is over yeah, here. Yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, Watch a big my, rock is right don't there. Don't you guys feel all your pores oh, yes. open? Oh, <laughs> Apparently, as you move forward, each one gets hotter and hotter. So, all the way in the back where this pool is fed was the hottest. And I gotta tell you, it is a little slimy under our feet. Ouch! Yeah. And they keep kicking rocks. Yeah. Yes, our skin is glowing now. Can you tell? Well, I might need a floaty here if we keep going. <laughs> Here's some things I wish I'd known before we got here today. It's very slimy and slippery. Wear water shoes. Hey, we paid 20 bucks. We're getting the whole experience. Bring plenty of water to drink because it is hot and we're sweating profusely sitting in this. It's relaxing as it is. You are going to need something to rehydrate. I'm ready for the ice cold part. Yeah, we haven't found the cold spot yet, but... I'm thinking there's not a cold spot. I gotta tell you, it does feel pretty good once you get out of the boiling 212 degree part. The boiling pot? The boiling. Because at 211, it's just hot. The 212, Oh my boiling. goodness, whatever. <laughs> As you could tell, we had a great time at the hot springs. It was a little hot on some of the sensitive parts, but <laughs> overall, we had a great time. A couple of things that you'll want to know before you head out to the Strawberry Park Hot Springs, which is the one we were at, is it's $20 to get in. You, it's for two hours. There's a window that you can, you can book online. The road up is not the best for just regular cars. You may need a four-wheel drive, and especially in the winter if there's snow on the ground. You'll definitely need that. And after 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> You're gonna want to take the kids home or I'll leave them at home because there's it, it's an adult only and clothing clothes comes <laughs> off. Um, we were not there for that, so we didn't get to witness any of that. But there were a lot of people coming in when As we, we were left, leaving at ten. We were leaving close to ten, so just be warned. There is that for adults, but I got to tell you, there's different levels of heat in those springs, and the one you saw us whooping and hollering and and running around in. There was a reason we were the only ones in that spring. Yeah. It was very, very hot. It was too hot. Your second option for a hot springs is Old Town Hot Springs. Oh, yeah. It is in downtown Steamboat Springs, but let me tell you the atmosphere is going to be a little different mm -hmm. than Strawberry Park. So this hot spring is actually swimming pools that are filled with the spring water. So there's a huge slide. What you're going to find there is more kids screaming and splashing and less less peace and quiet. Less so, zen. Yeah, a lot less zen. <laughs> but that being said, you can get an all-day pass there and come in and out. And they also have a gym. They have a rock wall. They have other things that you can do at that specific facility. So you can decide which one works better for you and your family if you have kiddos. We'll never get old.
to go whitewater rafting down the Colorado River? We do. I we certainly do. do. Yep. It is on my bucket list, and I've been dying to go whitewater rafting for a while. Unfortunately, while we were in Steamboat Springs, we were not able to do it <laughs> because <laughs> Phil's knee had not fully recovered yet, and the last thing he needs to do is go flopping around. Yeah, too and, soon, too soon. And hurt his knee. So it is still on my bucket list. Um, if you're in the area and you would like to go whitewater rafting, there are there's a company that will do it in the Steamboat Springs area, and of course, links are on the blog. Something really fun you can do in Steamboat Springs is you can actually tube down the river. Yeah, we saw quite a few that were just going down the river lazily <laughs> in their inner tubes. Now you can rent them from a local business there or you can go to the local store and buy them if you want. We have a lot more info about tubing on the river so make sure you head over to the website to get all the details and all the links. We've been here in Steamboat Springs for about four days and today's the day we head out to go to Boyd Lake State Park just north of Denver. There you go, say that fast <laughs> three times. This might have been the third time we <laughs> attempted this. Yeah. But this, we've really enjoyed Steamboat Springs. We've been pretty active here. There's a lot of outdoor activities here, but I got to tell you, we have been less than thrilled with our choice of campground. You know, don't beat us up. It's, we don't like all the amenities. We don't like the pool. And we don't the, use it for sure. The, the putt putt. We just don't use all the stuff that we're paying for. And then we were here on a Labor Day weekend. So you know what that means. It was packed house. Heavy traffic behind us, so it was loud behind us on the main road, and screaming children everywhere without parental supervision. Yeah, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I love seeing kids outside agreed, playing. Agreed, agreed. But I almost hit a little girl in the head with my um, Magna Shade pole as she was cutting through the site. You know, she was probably seven, eight years old, didn't know. Um, but it's incumbent upon the parents to teach yeah. the kids, you know, don't go cutting through sites or where people are at because you never know. I mean, I literally, I almost hit her in the head and I felt bad and I shouldn't have because I'm in my sight. I, I don't have little kids, so I wasn't looking for her. But um, they also all in all, went between our RV and our, our pedestal. Somebody was tapping into our water. Yeah. So it was a little crazy. But that being said, if you have children, and you want activities for the kids, there's a ton here. Like Phil said, playground, pup pup, pool. The river. The river we did enjoy. Now, Alan and did happen to land another campground right down from us. It's a private campground. They are a little tight, but yep. it's quiet. It's out of the way. It's further from the road. And they had full hookups. We yes. did not. For much less. Much <laughs> yeah, cheaper. Yeah. When we were here, we had partial hookups. We had water and electric, but we did not have sewer. There are sites here on the other side of the campground where you could get full hookups if you like. We were just talking about the campgrounds and what your options are and the two that we found. And I got to tell you, I think your best options might be the two local state parks. Yeah. And I mean, we did have a good time where we were at. We were there on a busy weekend. So we were, of course, last minute reservers. No, not us. So the state parks that we were talking about, there yeah. are two and both of them are 30 minutes or less from downtown Steamboat Springs. Of course, on the blog, I will link both of those. So if you're smart enough to make your reservations <laughs> early, you can get into those state parks. Of course, they are going to book quickly because they're, they're beautiful state parks and everybody wants to go there. Your other option in the area is boondocking. There is a lot of dispersed camping True. in the area. All you have to do is do a little homework and research and find out where your rig will fit. If we go there again, that will be what we do. We yep. will find some dispersed camping. We'll get off the grid and away from the crowds. But I got to tell you, Steamboat Springs is really cool. And we have a lot more in the blog that will have links and what you can do. And you can figure out if Steamboat Springs is the perfect summer ski town for you. Yeah. Check it out. We had a blast.